This video will show you the only price action trading strategy that you will ever need to be profitable. So as an experiment, I want you to try figuring out why this is a good setup. Because this is the example of the setup that I will be teaching you step by step. At the end of this video, it should be crystal clear why you enter this trade and how to spot these setups. So make sure to watch this video till the end. Many traders complicate things and as a new trader or struggling trader, it isn't wise to have a complex or highly subjective strategy. I will show you how to combine two simple factors to identify high probability setups. This strategy will not involve complex concepts like Elliott Wave or 10 different indicators, so don't worry. Now I've been using this for many years and I know that it works, but I love to have you guys test it out and comment below whether it works for you or not. It has always worked for me and I'm still using it even till this day. Before I show you this price action training strategy, I want to remind you that we are doing our giveaway for our premium forex signals which we usually charge $99 a month for. Listen closely if you want to participate in this giveaway. You need to look for an emoji throughout this video and once you find that emoji, like this video and comment on what the emoji is plus win forex signals in the comment section. Make sure to do all of the steps because you won't qualify if you only do one of them. We will announce a lucky winner in the next video so make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to know when the next video is released and whether you have won. Now the two simple factors that we will be focusing on is market structure and the relative strength index. Most trading platforms have the relative strength index and we will be using the default 14 period setting for this video. If you are not familiar with market structure, the market doesn't move in a singular line and makes swing points. These swing points make up the market structure and the easiest way to identify them is to switch to the line chart. We will use the obvious swing points as our support and resistance levels. We are looking for a major market structure in this price action strategy and watching the relative strength index for divergence. A divergence on its own doesn't give you high probability setups, so you must combine it with market structure to filter it. So what we have here is a major market structure level and don't worry if you struggle with defining what a major market structure is because I will cover that shortly. I want to show you how to identify divergence first. In this example, we have price pushing down continuously. If I were to draw this trend line, you could see that price is consistently making a lower low. Now, watch the relative strength index. Instead of making lower lows, the relative strength index is creating higher lows instead. That's what a divergence is. Essentially, a divergence is when price and the relative strength index are telling two different stories. This is the part you want to pay close attention to because I've seen many traders mess this portion up and end up losing a lot of money. If you look into the divergence, the divergence was happening for quite some time and price didn't just start to rebound higher immediately. Why is this so? Well, because it hasn't reached a strong level as given by the market structure. This is why we never trade directly off the relative strength index divergence. Do not just trade every single divergence you see. Again, I will reiterate that you have to filter the signals with market structure. Regarding your entry and how to enter the trade, we want to drop down a time frame lower. I have previously recorded a video about using multiple time frames and how to use the factor of 4 theory. I will leave a link to that video at the top right at the end of this video and I highly recommend you watch that video next. So since we identified the divergence and market structure on the H4, let's drop to the H1 time frame to find our entries. There are many ways to enter and I don't want to restrict how you enter. It could be a candlestick pattern, a trendline break, an oscillator like the MACD or a break of support and resistance. Earlier on, I promise you that I will show you how to identify major support and resistance levels. Well, the concept is rather simple, but you need to practice. 
So what you will do is head over to the chart and zoom out a couple of times and start plotting out the levels which have the most number of touches. You want to focus on swing points that jump out at you which are obvious. If you struggle to find a swing point, switch over to the line chart and you should be able to find them easily. A quick tip for you. Support and resistance are never single levels and are always a zone. So you can use a rectangular box to plot out the levels. Now here's a quick recap of this price action trading strategy before I walk you through a couple examples to help you familiarize with this price action trading strategy. Step number one, identify major market structure levels. Step two, look out for relative strength index divergence and wait for price to head into the major market structure level. And step number three, go down one time frame lower to look for your entry. Let's go into the first example. Here, we have the Aussie dollar and we start by identifying the major market structure levels. We zoom out and look for the turning points and plot them as support and resistance zone. Again, I will reiterate that support and resistance are always zones and not a single line. So we plot it this way. And that's step number one. Now, insert the relative strength index if you have not already done so. We want to identify divergence between the indicator and price. We see that price is falling and making lower lows but the relative strength index makes higher lows. So that makes the second step. However, the price has not yet reached our major market structure level that was plotted in step one, when this divergence is in. So we need to wait patiently for the price to hit our level. Remember, you always want to be buying or selling at a good price level. So it is mandatory to wait patiently at the major levels you identified. When price eventually hits the major market structure level, it is time to look for an entry. For this particular example, we see a nice break in the descending trend line and we can use that as our entry trigger. Now let's go into the second example, this time looking at a bearish setup. We start by identifying major market structure. So we will zoom out of this pound dollar chart and start plotting out the zones. We look at price and see that it has been rising and making higher highs. You can use a trend line to help you better visualize this. Next, we look at the relative strength index and to confirm that there is indeed a divergence. We wait patiently for price to hit our major market structure zone and go into the lower time frame to look for our entry. And that's the entire process. Honestly, it isn't that complicated. And trading shouldn't be complicated. The more complicated the strategy is, the more likely you are to mess up. In this channel, we do our best to simplify everything for you. At the start of this video, I promise you that you would leave knowing how to spot this setup. But because you watched this video up to here, I want to over deliver and provide you with additional tips to get the most out of this price action trading strategy. The first tip that I have for you is to focus on a single time frame configuration, an execution time frame for your entries, and another to identify major market structure and divergence. Suppose you use the H4 for major market structure and divergence and the H1 for entries. Then stick to these time frames every single time. The next tip I have for you is to stick to a single entry trigger. If you are using a trend line break to enter your trade, then stick to it and be consistent in doing that. You do not want to be using the trend line break at one moment and then perhaps a break in market structure in another instant. Well, at least for a start. As you get more experience, you can slowly introduce multiple entry triggers to enter your trade. And the last tip I have for you is to stick to the trend. If you are new to trading or still struggling, you want to lean towards the direction of the higher time frame trend. If you see an uptrend in H4, you should look for buy opportunities of support and avoid taking short positions. 
To sum up this video, you want to identify major market structure levels, look for divergence happening around those levels and go into the lower time frame to find your entry. I want you to try it and let me know if this strategy works for you in the comment section. Remember to like this video, subscribe to the channel and comment with the emoji plus win forex signals to enter yourself into our giveaway. The winner will be announced in the next video, so turn on the notification bell and check to see if you have won. Thanks for watching, I will link to the multiple timeframes video which talks about the theory of 4. I highly recommend checking it out right away by clicking on the video end screen over here.